the actual incident piece was more or less presented to us by Stephen uh, as one long 50 minute piece of music. Um, we did rearrange parts of it and, and, and wrote uh, some small part of that, but it was very much in Stephen's mind to present this, this piece of music. Um, dynamically and stylistically it went through a lot of changes. Um, it, although it was one piece that the mood would change, the tempos would change, it would be quite dramatic at times. Uh, once some songs would last for two minutes, um, others would go into this sort of you know, 12, 13 minute track. And we reproduced it quite faithfully on stage, but it became quite an intense kind of procedure um, because it wasn't something that you could necessarily relax through. It's a case of getting across this piece of music um, and coping with all the, the dynamic changes. It's a good performance of it. It was kind of well into the tour when we were you know, up to speed, we'd played it, I don't know what, 50 times by then. So it, it captured it well. If someone asked us to go and perform it tomorrow, <laughs> you know, it would, it would take a lot to get back to that level. Mm. It took a lot of rehearsing and it took a lot of concentration to get it right. But, um, you know, that Chicago performance was a, was, a, was a good one, a good representation of how we were playing it. I think regardless of what it was about, it, it would have done well because the previous album did well. I think that's, that's the way it works. If your popularity is on the rise, um, people will go and buy the next album, um, regardless of the concept. Um, probably the more interesting thing is to see what the next album does. Well, I think that, you know, th there wasn't so many standalone songs that we could play in the incident. It was one long piece, really. I mean, yeah, there's, there's a couple of things you, uh, we did occasionally try to pull out of context, but it seemed to work better. You know, there's lots of nice little pieces that are only a couple of minutes long, um, the Yellow Windows piece, you know, there's, there's nice little link pieces. We thought it worked better as, a, as an entire performance of the of the whole the whole album and uh, you know we played some of the songs from the second disc as well uh, remember me lover and bonnie the cat and there's some others um that was it black doll yeah we played well we did that acoustically didn't we we did that acoustically yeah. uh so you know it made sense because the way it was written it made sense to play the the entire incident in one go you know we we did that to a certain extent with uh, Fear of a Black Planet as well, didn't we? That's right. Uh, the first set would be uh, the whole of the album. It's a nice way of doing a show. It's, uh, it's a good way to divide the concentration, in, you know, in that you, you, you have a rather intense kind of first half of the show where you're either previewing new, you know, new material or you're trying to capture an album, a studio album, and then you come back and then you're into doing various songs, you know, and it's more of a relaxing and just uh, more enjoyable. Yeah, well, in fact, with Fear of a Blank Planet, we went out and played pretty much the entire album of Fear of a Blank Planet before anyone had heard it, before we'd even recorded it, yeah. which actually turned out to be a really good idea, especially for us, because you play it different after 20 live performances than you do when you're just in a studio playing it. So things kind of evolve mutate if you like you know I think it's a better album because we went out and played it before we recorded it but it's quite a, we felt it was quite a brave thing to ask you know of the audience to write here's like a you know almost an hour of material you've never heard before the temptation is to come out and give them a song that they know then a new one and then another song they know and then a new you know and sort of you pace it that way but uh, actually it went down very well and so we weren't that worried that, you know, the audience would be uh, bored or kind of frustrated by us playing the entire incident in one go. Well, we've all, we've all done our own uh, albums, haven't we? Um, Gavin's toured, has toured his album as well, a little bit. 
Um, so, well, I feel personally, I've, I've kind of done that now. Now I'm into writing again. So I don't know what I'm writing for. I'm just writing as much as I can. Um, there aren't any other plans at the moment for a solo album uh, or for an album with Steve Hogarth. Um, I find the best way is just to write the material and then start to realise where, where its home is, you know, uh, and what direction it's taken me in. Um, as for the band, well, you know, it needs four of us to be ready at the right time. So it's a case of when all four of us are ready, then, um, th then we'll do it and, and we'll start writing uh, another album.